Uh, so I wanted to make a quick video and it's basically just a video I'm making because I want to demonstrate something to, um, to, um, this is working. It is working. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. All right. Let's just minimize this so you don't have the infinite looping of my face. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to explain to you guys, and this is the the suggestion that I'm trying to make here, and it's 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 really hard to come across. So here's the suggestion I have that would really help with an issue with this with this issue we've been having, to where rather than using large objects in a scene to replicate scrolling layers, this is the uh, the suggestion that I'm trying to to get across and it's been so difficult because every time I try to type it out and explain it, I'm having hell with it. So here's what I'm trying to explain and this is what I'm thinking would work, okay? Okay, so rather than the weird workaround that we keep doing with objects, my suggestion that I keep trying to suggest is to have a checkbox, right? Hear me out, hear me out. You would have to, number one, you'd have to extend this whole section over. You would have a checkbox, and you could tell that layer to not be a layer. You would tell the layer to not be a layer or to be a layer. When you check it to not be a layer, you can, well, you wouldn't check it to not be a layer. You would check it to be a background image. You would basically re just replicate in the code or whatever magic, te techno magic you guys did to create this to begin with right here because you already have options for it right here you already have it my what i'm trying to suggest is taking this information for the background and moving it down here with this with this right here all the way across and then adding a checkbox instead of just having this one background thing this one measly background thing you could have you could tell a layer to not be a layer, but instead be another background. It could be a background or a foreground image. That way you could use images instead of tiles and then actually tell it to scroll because it would have the same sort of programming and code and whatever else that we already initially have for this. This is what I'm trying to get it across. If you just take this, you have the code. It's already present. Whatever you, whatever part of the code is present for setting a background image, whatever part of the code is there, you've already got it. It already exists. If you can duplicate it and set it to where you can tell a layer to not be a layer, it, I, I hope I'm making sense. You would tell it to switch from being a layer to being a background image and back and forth. You wouldn't even need this anymore. You would take whatever information that that is used to to create this, the coding in the software, whatever. You would take it and you would move it. You would move it and then duplicate it with a with, a, with just a with just a box that you could tick or check or however you want to say it and that box would tell the layer to not be a layer anymore it would switch it over from being a layer to a background image and then you could have multiple background images and then you could set a background to background image to be above a character then it would be a foreground image it's right there the solution is right there and I keep trying to explain it, and it's just so hard to get out. I hope I'm, I hope I'm getting it across. I hope I'm getting this across because it's kind of driving me nuts. And so instead of these weird, unusual workarounds that we keep doing, to where we have to create a large object, which, by the way, I've been doing that already for a while now. I've known how to do that before Baz even made the uh, tutorial. I feel like I should have made the tutorial. Actually, I thought I explained it once before. Anyhow, anyhow. But the bottom line is, if you don't want to use a regular layer with tiles, you would you could swap it out and say, okay, this is no longer, this is no longer a a layer that uses tiles and whatnot. It's no longer a layer. It is now an image it is a background image with the same sort of you know programming mumbo jumbo whatever and you could just kind of see you would create the you you would basically just you would create the layer like you would 
you know in in here but then you would go into this the into the settings you would pop open the scene settings and then you would go down and there'd be like a bunch of extra information going across and you would highlight it and check it and say okay well now it's not it's no longer it's no longer a regular tile layer it's it's no longer that it's now it's a background image and you would, yeah, I, 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 I have no better way of explaining it but, but that. I'm not talking about looping tiles or anything like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying the solution is more background images. Background images that you can put in the foreground. You could tell this, like, okay, so let's say this is the main layer, because that's what I call them. That's what I call them in all my games, the main layer. And then you have the foreground layer. You could click a box, you would check it, and it would switch over from the regular layers that it is to a background image. And then you would set the background image and then tell it to move just like you would this right here. But then this section wouldn't even be needed anymore. It would be down here. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out, understand why this hasn't been done yet. Like, it can't be that complicated. It's literally just flipping a switch on here and saying this is no longer tiles. These are full-grown images that you can manipulate the same way as this. And then you wouldn't even need this. This wouldn't have to exist anymore. It wouldn't have to be its own section. You could have all this information somehow, somehow, I don't know how, down here with this, within this section. It would all be part of the same section. And you could flip it back, you could flip it, and it would lose the information for the image, basically. That, or we could figure out some way to dis display a picture and give it the same properties that you can do here. Oh, yes, let's display this image. Uh, or, or, or it's right there, set background image. You could have a box down here called set background image, which would replace doing you using tiles you could put up a warning saying this will erase all information of tiles blah 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 on that layer and it'll switch it to an image then you would just you know pick the image in a t in a tab or something you basically just need more of this right here this is what you need more of and i guess that's a suggestion i don't know but it it's 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 something that should have already been created. Like, we keep having to do weird workarounds for things that aren't practical. They're not practical. When in reality, you, you could have already done this. The developers could have already set up an image or set, or set up an option to where you can tell a layer to be a background, basically. Or a, you know, a background or a foreground, however you want to say it. Just an image instead of a tile set that you can draw with. Instead, it would just be an image. And you can, of course set it to be center tiles yeah and then the the auto scrolling or or you know with the direction you want it to scroll and but you could do it from multiple layers and you wouldn't have to have layers if you didn't want the layers and i've said it over and over again i don't know any other way to say it to get my point across but that should be what you do i mean i, I i'm laying it out as best as i can all right, I'm done. I hope this made sense.